this side and welcome to the channel so today quickly i would be uh, showing you one question where and with that question i just want to explain like what generally intuition we get uh, to determine whether it can be solved via priority queue or not and what all things we need to consider while solving it with priority queue okay so you know that priority queue is nothing but an implementation of heap and we have two type of heap min heap and max heap okay so they have a specific property in min heap the parent has the value which is minimum compared to its children so its children are always has a higher value than its parent in max heap the parent has the maximum value than its children okay and whenever any insertion and deletion happen the heapify process will happen which brings the tree again into a proper min heap or max heap so for example if we are trying to let's say this is a uh, max heap we are using 2010 and now if i am inserting something 40 so whenever we do an insertion now currently tree is not in a heapify so it has to do a heapification and it will proclate up so okay so then it will compare to its parent if it is greater it will swap so this will become 40 this will become 20 then it will again check with its parent if it is greater this become 40 this become 30 okay so like this proclate up will happen during insertion okay and all, always insertion happen at the last similarly at deletion let's say you have uh, at this case now currently we have 40 then you have 30 then you have 10 and then here you have 20 whenever you have to delete generally we what we do is we swap it with the last element okay so i made it 20 and reduce the size of heap by one okay so now i have reduced the size by one and now proclate down will happen okay heapify down so now it will just check so max heap right so it will check any child with a maximum value than this here so that 30 20 10 so now again it's in a heapify form okay so we know that priority queue in java it's an implementation of min heap and max heap we don't have to implement it but now how to determine in question that this can be solved via heap so whenever a interviewer says that top n top 100 top 50 or let's say that uh, max max 20 or min 20 find find max 20 element something like that like where you have to keep track of n number of elements in certain ordered form either max or min just think about this can it be solved via priority queue or not similarly one of the very uh, like frequently asked question is that there are players or users okay they are currently there are so many there are so many users right let's say thousands of users and they are playing a game and they are earning a point or amount something point or amount whatever you call they are earning something okay so they keep on accumulating so let's say that user one or player one is accumulating points like 5 10 20 25 like this okay similarly different players are accumulating points or amount so we have to keep track of top 100 players or top 100 users like this okay so whenever this question comes now i get to know that okay there are so many users but I only need to track top 100, top 100 based on their amount or points. So means I have to also keep track of their history points also or the amount which they accumulated before also. So that's where one thing is that we have to go with the priority queue. So now once you know that you have to solve it via priority queue and you start solving it, few things you have to consider whether you are going with a min heap or max heap. So for in this scenario, I am going with the min heap. Okay, so I'm creating a new priority queue. I created, let's say a user. Okay, 
and a user has user id and total points okay so i am creating a min heap and this heap i am sorting it based on the points okay whenever see any this node going to get compare with this node right so some sorting has to be done so sorting need to be done based on points okay so i am doing it min heap so 100 users i want to store it into a uh, increasing order like the top one should have be the minimum and bottom one should be the maximum okay so this is done this is i have decided the heap now this is the second part now whenever a user is earning a point or an amount this add point method will get called okay so here first we have to update or find the new total updated value so for this user from i have created a hash map so from this user based on this user id i am finding out the amount now like whatever the existing let's say user already earned uh, 100 points or 100 amount then 20 now it's coming 30 so now i am adding it so total new total is 150 okay so first i am getting a what is the new total amount and for that i am using a map okay so this is another part very important while we are using a priority queue now you have to put this user like you have to put this user which has this point or amount into an hash map or uh, into a heap and it is possible that this user is already present this user is already present let's say earlier it was uh, with 120 points it was already present okay this this is note so now when we are getting an updated value 150 shall i just change it update it to 150 no never ever update the value when you are using priority queue or heap because heapify won't work heapify will only work when either you insert at end or delete it like this way okay so otherwise if you just updated heapification will not work so what i did is first i check into the heap or uh, here i check into the heap if it is present then remove it okay i am removing it from the heap itself okay so while removing it itself also it might have done a heapification okay so it might have replaced it with the last element okay and reduce the size and then it will proclate down to bring this in a proper uh, heapify form okay now this user has been removed from the heap now what i am doing is now i am adding it to the heap with the new total and whenever you will add it you will always add it to the last you will always add it to the last and proclation up will happen so automatically this will comes to a correct place okay it will comes to it correct place but i told you that we have to in the priority queue in the priority queue the size is not fixed it can dynamically increase we have to manually handle the size very important part when we are solving a question via priority queue we have to manually handle the size so now let's say possible that whenever i inserted this user i am using a min heap like right? let's say this is 30 this is uh, uh something some value 20 uh 10 okay so now when you are adding okay so now i am using a min heap right so this currently i created a max heap so now let's say 10 20 30 like this has happened okay now when you inserted a user now when you inserted a user let's say i inserted a user with 0.5 at this point of time it will automatically bring it to the correct place so it will goes to like uh, first 5 goes here 20 goes here then 5 goes here 10 goes here so ultimately 5 10 30 20 automatically comes to this one but possible that size might have increased to 101 right because we are simply added it but we have to make sure that size never increases more than 100 so if size become greater than capacity i have put 100 i am polling since i am using min i know that the top one will always be the lower scorer or lower user who has the lowest amount or point so i just removing it okay and you know that how internally remove works it will internally replace with the last and do proclate down 
okay so this way i am maintaining its size and i am updating my hippy file right how for how first i am removing the user then i am adding it and then i am maintaining the size okay and whenever the get user comes because i need if i need to uh, show in the top 100 from let's say max to min then i am sorting it since my priority queues only contain 100 elements so the sorting takes 100 n log n so 100 log 100 so it's like a constant so no issues okay so this is just one example i wanted to show you that how to determine in the interview that it can be solved by a priority queue and while solving a priority queue this three four points you need to consider very important again before going size you have to manually handle the size okay guys thank you bye